Hello, and welcome to another episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I hope you're having a terrific day wherever you're at. I have a really great episode planned for you today. But before we get to that, a couple of housekeeping items. As most of you know, about once a month, I come out with an episode called Mail Call or Mail Bag, where I share with you all of the postcards that I've received over the month through postcrossing.com, as well as swaps and surprises. So I thought I would change that up a bit and try to incorporate that into my weekly uh, episodes here on Snail Mail with Smokey. So I'm instituting a new feature that I call What's in the Mail? And so every week before I give you the main content of the video, I'll go through the items that arrived in that week's mail. So let's get right to it. Uh, cue the brand new cheesy What's in the Mail intro. Well, all right then. Here we go. A few pieces of mail to share with you this week. One official postcard from postcrossing.com. It's this card. This comes from Malaysia. Just a really beautiful card. I like the mailbox there. And then there are the stamps. You see it has the World Postcard Day logo. So just a great postcard. So thank you for that. Next in the mail this week was this wonderful card. This comes from our friend Basil, who lives in India. And Basil has sent me uh, this really nice card. I love it. I love the post box. I love the cartoon feel of it. The old airmail uh, feel with the border. Just a really nice postcard for World Postcard Day. And then there is the World Postcard Day cancellation. And plus, I really like uh, the stamps that Basil has included. So thank you uh, for that. And then one final uh, postcard. This is another World Postcard Day card. I love this card. Uh, this card says, Hello, Smokey. My name is Ola. I found your channel through Rob Stamp vs. Stamp. Wishing you lots of wonderful mail. Ola from Poland. Well, Ola, welcome uh, to the channel. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the postcard. Uh, thank you for finding me through Rob's channel uh, and watching our Stamp vs. Stamp videos. If you haven't watched those, uh, go back and watch them. Uh, that Dad Guy and I each release a Stamp vs. Stamp uh, collaboration video every month. This this month was a Doctor Who theme. Uh, it was so much fun to make. Uh, we both enjoyed it tremendously. So please go check out uh, those videos. And then look how she has decorated uh, the postcard. Look at that giraffe. And then there is the stamp. So thank you so much uh, for the wonderful uh, surprise card. I really, really appreciate it. So now to the meat uh, of the episode and it's this envelope as you can see I have not opened it yet so we're gonna open this together uh, this comes from Canada uh, I believe I know it is it's a it's a stamp order uh, that I placed through uh, online actually I believe I bought these through eBay <laughs> I did, and they are exactly what I thought they were. Um, can't wait to show them to you. Look at these wonderful stamps. So let's uh, let's talk about these for a second. Well, I've removed uh, these stamps from the dealer stock card. Got my tongs out so we can take a closer look at them together. These were released by Canada on September the 10th, 2013. They are Scott numbers 2678 through 2683. And they were issued uh, for the 75th anniversary of Superman. Now, Superman was created by Jerry Siegel and Joel Schuster. Uh, it debuted 
1938 in Action Comic uh, number one. And he is, dare I say, the most popular and iconic superhero in the entire world. Now, you say, why were these released by Canada? Isn't Superman an American superhero? Yes and no. Uh, because the co-creator of Superman, uh, Joe Schuster, was actually born in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And then he later moved to Ohio, uh, where he met uh, Jerry Siegel. And there together, uh, they created uh, this iconic character. So I am a huge fan of Superman. Uh, I collect cartoons on stamps, which is why I had to have this set of stamps in my topical collection. Uh, I love Superman. Now, I am not, uh, believe it or not, I'm not a comic book reader. Yes, I've read a few comic books. I don't own any. Uh, I think the reason that I'm not a comic book reader is because I'm a completionist. And... Uh, if I'm going to read Superman, then I've got to start from the very beginning of Superman, which would be action comic number one. And there's no way I could ever afford that. And no way I could afford to buy every issue of Superman that's come out for the last 75 years. Uh, so that's really one of the reasons I don't read comic books, because I don't know where to start. I don't know what issue to start with. Uh, so if you got some suggestions on that, uh, leave me a comment below and maybe, uh, maybe I'll start checking out uh, comic books. But I have seen every movie uh, there is uh, related to Superman. I've watched uh, just about every animated uh, TV show there is uh, for Superman. I, I remember growing up watching all the Superman cartoons, all the Justice League uh, cartoons on Saturday morning. So really love Superman. Uh, loved his uh, alter ego, Clark Kent. Super Clark Kent. Superman. Clark Kent. Superman. Amazing how he could disguise himself with just a pair of glasses and a suit. Um, so like I said, I really had to add uh, these wonderful, colorful stamps uh, to my collection. So I wanted to share those with you today. I know it's been a short video, uh, but thank you for watching. I thank all of you who has uh, sent me postcards and uh, continue to leave me positive comments and follow the channel. If you are not a subscriber to the channel, uh, please hit the subscribe button right now. Uh, we are edging ever so closer to 900 subscribers. I uh, can't wait to get there and celebrate that with you. Uh, so if you haven't, hit the subscribe button and I'd really appreciate it. Also, give me a big old thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment in the description below. So until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.